Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Bear with us here today. We're out here at a public range. We got puppy dogs and we got people over here training with their blasters, but we're still gonna have a good time. The purpose of this video is to talk about 243 Winchester and bullet drop and how I sighted my rifles and even more specifically for the purposes of hunting. Me personally, I sight in everything dead nuts on at 100 yards. Well, if you see a deer exactly at 100 yards, then you're going to be golden. But if he's at 20 or 50 or 200, that bullet's not going to hit dead on exactly where you sighted it in. For my 243, this year I'm going to be hunting with Norma Whitetail Ammo. I highly recommend it. If you saw my previous video of sighting in, this rifle with this ammo you know that it's very very consistent ammo but what I'm gonna show you here today I'm gonna uh, verify a 100 yard shot I'm gonna bring it back to 50 yards to show you where it hits then I'm gonna take it out to 200 yards and show you where it hits if you look on most modern boxes it actually has a little chart there and this normal box says if you sight it in dead on at 100, you'll be 0.2 inches low at 50, and then at 200, you'll be 3.5 inches off at 200. And if I didn't tell you already, these are 100 grain bow lights in the normal whitetails of 243. But that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a shot first at 100, verify it. And then we're going to bring it back to 50, go out to 200. This is real word stuff, real world stuff here. You can probably trust what's on the box, but everybody's got a different barrel length. Everybody's got a different twist. Uh, hey, this is real world. <laughs> Not only for me to know um, when I take this thing out hunting, my boys are going to hunt with this. Uh, but also, just to show you guys, the, the ballistic coefficient of this normal whitetail, 243, is 257 so at the end of the video I'm gonna talk about 243 a little bit more and even beyond 200 yards uh, and we'll talk about scope dials and all that stuff but after 200 yards I wouldn't recommend dialing your scope you just hold over or hold under based on what we're about to show you but we do the 100 then the 50 then the 200 and then at the end of the video We'll talk a little bit more about even further than that and how you can figure that out. Before I get to flinging them, here's our 50 yard paper plate here. Right there, that's 50 yards. Then we're going to go out to 100 yards. And then we're going to stretch it out even further and see where we're hitting at 200 yards. So just to kind of show you the, the distances there what I'm seeing. Let's go ahead and do that 100 yard verified shot first. If you need some hunting ammo, some 243 win, anything else, or 9mm 223, go check out normashooting.com. That's where I'm picking up all my hunting ammo for this season. Chances are they're going to have what you need. Go check them out and chances are they're going to have better prices than just about anywhere else. Y'all go check out normashooting.com. Tell them who to who sent you. All right, so real quick, I'm going to verify my 100-yard sight in on a paper plate down there. This rifle's been bouncing around in the back of my truck just to make sure our data is correct here. Let's verify my 100-yard sight in from when I sighted it in in the previous video. Got a paper plate down there at 100. You guys should be able to see it with the other camera. Just above the bullseye, but close enough where I'm not going to adjust it at all. So, our 100 yards is still good. Now, let's bring it back up here to the 50 yard. Alright, all right, now I move the other camera to 50 yards. Should be pretty close to bullseye here at 50. See where we get it. And you can see there we're still in the bullseye ring so 
maybe about an inch difference between a 50 yard and a 100 yard side end. So next, let's go back to 200. Remember what did the box say? Box said it was going to be three and a half inches difference from the 100 yard. Let me move this other camera to 200 and see what see if we can hit the paper plate. All right, now 200 yards. I'm going to hold bullseye just like I've done on all the rest of them. If three and a half is the right drop, then the bullet still should hit on the plate somewhere towards the bottom. Let's see where we hit at 200 here. All right. 14 power. I can't see where it hit in my eyes. Let me check this camera over here. But looks like to my eyeballs, we missed the entire plate. So let's do this. I'm going to hold the top of the plate at 200 and we'll see where it hits. See what happens. Looks like we hit almost a bullseye there. So, I don't know how big those plates are to tell you the truth, uh, but you can see what I'm saying. I held the top of the plate and it hit almost bullseye. So, just for giggles, let's we'll see if we can recreate that again. Hold the top of the plate. Yep, the bullet drop is exactly the same. Hit a little bit right at 200 yards. But you can see what I'm saying. The point I'm trying to get across is, if you're out there deer hunting, a deer comes out at 200 yards, I would need to know that much over the deer's back where I want to hit the deer. So if the heart's here, I would need to hold it here at 200 yards for that bullet to hit where I want to. Yep. There's a whole lot of people that don't understand this. Um, but now that we know we're dead on at 100, 50 yards, we can still hold dead on. But at 200 yards, there's about a, probably a five inch holdover. Now, let me do some math and I'm gonna show you some charts on bullet drop, even with this exact normal whitetail and the BC. What's the BC of this? Uh, 0.257 on the G1 scale. Let me show you, I'm gonna go ahead and show you out to 1000, the bullet drop holdovers and what you need to dial for your scope. All right, so I told you I was gonna give you some more information on bullet drop for this particular 243 round. This is no secret. I did an entire video on how to do this, but here's how I do it. There's free websites, all kind of free apps, but I put in the information on this normal whitetail ammo, put in the BC, the bullet weight, the uh, muzzle velocity. I zeroed it in at 100 yards put some temperature and weather stuff in here, then this is gonna give us the bullet drop at different ranges. So you can see, pretty flat to 200, right? I was holding the top of that plate and it dropped five, six inches or so, but at a thousand yards, it's dropping almost 50 feet. So check this out. This 243, you can see um, the, this is the drop right here. So I zeroed it in at a hundred yards. So this is saying, um, at zero, it'd be low an inch and a half. That's the difference between where the scope is from the barrel. And then at two inches, it said that the drop should be about three and a half. So this would be your holdover. If you zeroed it at a hundred, you should hold over 3.6 inches over where you want the bullet to hit on that deer, which makes sense what we saw where I was holding the top of that paper plate to get it to hit closer to the middle. So that absolutely makes sense. Then this MOA and mills, this is what you would dial on your scope for the different distances. So 200 yards, I would probably just hold over that deer but anything past that, 
Um, I might go to my scope and dial it. If you got an MOA scope or a mil scope or something with those reticles in it, you can hold those numbers. But you can see 300 yards, it drops over a foot, 400 yards, almost three feet. We go out to 1,000, it's dropping 552 inches. So there's no way you could hold that over, but you could dial this in your scope if you have that much dial in your scope. But all in all, uh, this is what I said I was going to show you. The holdover here for deer hunting purposes. At 300 yards, you could just about hold a foot high. That'd probably still be fine. But past that, these are the numbers for the dials on your scope here, MOA and mils, and then what that translates into in inches at those different distances. And this is with that Norma Whitetail ammo. If it's if you have different ammo, it'd probably be close to this, but you need to key in your own data to get the exact numbers for your 243. This is just specific to that Norma Whitetail ammo. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below if you'd like me to do this with some other calibers. Um, and what your favorite caliber is. But appreciate y'all watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out all the links down below. Norma Whitetail. It's good stuff. Y'all go check out normashooting.com. Appreciate y'all.